For 33 years, the record of 1,352 career points held by Colleen Grant hung on the far wall of Gene Walker Fieldhouse. But as of December 5th, 2014, there will be a new name on that board, and that name is Taylor Will. The setting for Taylor's record-breaking shot would take place at Hersey High School against the rival Huskies. In front of a packed house, Taylor drove to the hoop and made history. It was awesome. It was especially cool because I had all of my family there and the entire student section. We've never had that many fans before. But it was just really fun to be there with our team because everyone is just so supportive and nice and great to me. Taylor's record-breaking accomplishment is credited to her work ethic and dedication that she has developed over her four years as a varsity starter. She's put in the time, and that's the bottom line. She, I mean, she I mean, she not only has put in the time, she works extremely hard when she's in the gym. Um, she is such, she's a true competitor. She's not just a player. She's a true competitor. She wants it extremely, extremely bad. She fights, um, you know, for every possession, both defensively and offensively. Um, and I really think that's why she's earned a scholarship, not because of her skill, but how hard she works. For many, the name Gene Walker is automatically associated with Prospects Fieldhouse. However, not too many people know that she coached Colleen Grant and many other girls during the start of a Prospect Girls Basketball. Having watched the game for so long, Walker is very impressed with Taylor. Well, number one, she's a leader. And secondly, she, um, she has it all. You know, she can go to the basket, she can shoot outside, she plays great defense. It's just really fun to watch her play. Looking back at Taylor's high school career, there has definitely been growth and improvement. As a freshman, she was very, very uh, hesitant, very tentative. Um, didn't feel like it was okay for her to shoot. She got a little better sophomore year, and then this year I think she really is much more comfortable in a leadership kind of role and directing the offense, and she knows that she's got to score in order for the team to win. So um, it's, uh, it's been great to see her develop and get more confident that way. Growing up, basketball has always been a big part of Taylor's life. Both of her parents play the game, and she has two younger sisters heavily involved. Taylor's family has made a big impact. My first grade year, my dad um, got this huge basketball hoop put in the driveway, and we would go out there every day in the summer. And I mean, we still do, and just play horse and around the world and all those different shooting games. And um, I think that definitely helps um, get me interested in the game. Haley is such an amazing shooter, but she's also super supportive. And I always try to take that positivity and bring it to the floor. Um, and Andy is just so aggressive and never stops going. She is just so relentless, and I also try to be like her in that way. But I also think I teach them that um, you there really aren't any limits. You can do whatever you want to do if you put your mind to it. It's been great for them to play together because they can work together really well, and they both have different roles and they've recognized that they're both valuable in different ways. And so I think the appreciation has improved even over last year. I mean, they were good last year, but I think this year, and also Haley's starting to realize this is Taylor's last year, you know, so I think they are pushing I, each other. I, I also think, though, relative to Andy is, um, you know, she gets so excited watching her sisters play, being on the bench in the water girl, and she just keeps on, you know, sort of thinking about, wow, when I get there, maybe I can, you know, try to beat Taylor's record or I can compete the way they do. And so it's really been a, a great motivation for Andy to play feeder basketball in AAU, and she's really focused on getting better. Taylor has also inspired her younger sisters by using basketball as a way to get a college education. She will be playing at Brown University next year. I never really thought that I could go on to the next level until um, last year when we started talking about it and I was getting calls. Um, so yeah, it was actually just kind of an interesting, weird new thing to me. It was kind of funny because I was actually super set on going to Boston University. This is like early August. Um, Brown didn't actually contact me until like late August. Um, so I was pretty set and they offered me an official so I went out there and visited and I fell in love with it and everything about it was amazing. So it was kind of like a last minute decision, really. But I knew right when I set foot on campus that it was right. Despite the individual awards that may come this year, 
Taylor is only focused on the team's goals and aspirations going forward. Um, one of our goals this year was to win conference and also try to win our regional. Um, we definitely want to make to state if we can. Um, and one of our big goals is to try to get there. So I do think that it's possible and we've been working really hard this year. Yeah.